Hello, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. How are you today? Well, I have a few things to talk to you about. This could be a little bit of a long one. So grab your cup of Joe or Fred or Frank or whoever you're going to grab. <laughs> and come join me and see what I have to say. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to hear what I have to say. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Speaking of Cup of Java, I am so excited. I have a friend. I met her at a craft fair about three years ago. It was before I had my YouTube channel. And um, you're going to hear life noises. George is home. Um, she had it was one of those, you know, you're walking through the craft fair and you see something and it's like, Urch! I got to go check that out. That is what it was like. Um, she has these phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal hand painted um, teapots and gla wine glasses and and oh, coffee cups and I mean, you name it, she does it. And it's just, it's absolutely stunning what she does. Her company is called Tin Cup Art. And if you look up tincupart.com, you'll be able to see what kind of stuff she does. It just, oh, so pretty. She does things with leaves and flowers and then outlines it in gold or silver. And it's just, oh my God, it's stunning. So anyway, her name is Lori and I've got her information here, but I'm going to put the information down below and uh, go check her out because I'm telling you, if you got a teapot or, or, or a glass or something from her, you will not be disappointed. Um, her art is just gorgeous. So anyways, I contacted Lori on Facebook and we, we chat back and forth all the time. And I said, hey, you know, I really love this color leaf. And I think it goes really well with, um, with my logo. I said, would you make me a cup? Possibly. If you're not too busy. <laughs> and she went, Sure. So I sent her the money like right away and uh, she made me the mug <gasps> and it's going to be kind of hard to see. I um, wonder if I put, hang on one second. Okay, it's going to be kind of hard to see. I put a face cloth in here to see if you could see it a little bit better because she did it on both sides. But here's the coffee cup. And she's got crochet A, and look at these gorgeous leaves. And then she did the crochet A on this side too. Aren't those beautiful? Look at all the gold, Ooh. all the gold, and it's all raised up. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love it. Absolutely love the two-tone colors. Oh, I was so happy with this mug. Um, so thank you so much, Lori. I really appreciate it. I know you're a busy lady and for you to take the time out to do that special order for me meant a lot. So you will be seeing this mug. Um, I have to wash it. Oh, and the, the thing about it too, it's microwavable and it's dishwasher safe. What? I couldn't believe it. When I asked her, I said, okay, so I'm assuming I have to hand wash this and, you know, kind of treat it with kid gloves. And she went, no, put it in the dishwasher. I was like, huh? She says, yeah. She says, it's not going to come off. I was like, holy cow. And she says, it's not like real metal. Uh, so it can go in the microwave. I was just like blown away by this because it looks like it, you wouldn't be able to put it in the microwave or a dishwasher, you know, 
But yeah, you can. Bonus! <laughs> because I hate hand washing anything. And if my cups can't go in the dishwasher, in the microwave, you know, it's just like that, right? Like this one can't go in because this has got like a, like metal-y stuff on it. So I have to drink my coffee really fast. <laughs> or transfer it into another um, mug. But this one, she says, no problem. Not a problem. So, yeah. So I'm going to put her link down below. Go check out her channel or her um, her page because her stuff is stunning. It really is. I, of course, you know how much I love my furls. Well, I was watching Alt Knots. And I'm telling you, the girl is an enabler. She's totally an enabler. <laughs> she loves furls just as much as I do. And she went and bought a couple of things. One I've never even thought about, never even heard about, didn't have a clue anything about it or how to use it. The other one I knew about and I've been humming and hawing and humming and hawing and humming and hawing and in cart, out cart, in cart, out cart, you know, one of those. And finally I went, you know what? My furls deserve this. I deserve this. I'm going to do this. So I bought a case for my furls. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oops, where I'm the glare. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, oh, I'm loving this. The only thing I don't like about it is there's no handle. So trying to get into it, especially if you got nails like this, it's a bit of a pain. But look at that. Oh, oh. And I have one furls that goes here that I'm in the middle of using. And I have another one of these furls. But I can't, oh no, one of these furls. And I can't find it. It's got to be here somewhere. Uh, so yeah, isn't that beautiful though? The back is all velvet. Oh, the inside is velvet. Absolutely stunning. And they had, they had a sale on, so I got 30% off. So that was a bonus too. And, you know, I was I would not have gotten this. You can get bigger ones than this. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. Yeah, ten, twenty, twenty-five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I can't remember. But anyway... This one holds 10. Yes, I have that many furls. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm a little addicted. Um, so I had to buy this. It, it just, it was too pretty, right? So now I'm not going to be losing my hooks anymore. I hope. So, yeah, so I'll put the link down below for the, that, um, as well there's different ones that you can get like with different finishes on them so but this one was the least expensive one and so I got it yeah the other thing I got I have never heard of this it's called a lucette fork a lucette fork uh, she um, she showed this on her channel and I was like mm, that's interesting here it is oops isn't that beautiful gorgeous wood finish love this it's got the little f for furls down here um oh George has got the phone hang on one second Sorry about that. Um, okay, so this 
makes tassels like oops like these that are on your sweater stuff it makes stuff like this okay um i was thinking that this would be really good <sighs> george has been bugging me for the last year and a half now that i should start making scooties again and if you're interested in a scooty um, I have my Etsy page down below. I have a pattern for the scooties that I make. Okay. Um, and I was like, uh, but you know, when there's no craft fairs and everything, I just didn't feel it, you know, cause this year, this past year was all crap. Right. So I didn't make any. And the one thing that I hate about doing the scooty the most is making the, the ties that tie up the scooty <laughs> the easiest part of the whole thing and i hate it the most um i i just oh i hate doing it so i was hoping that this would help uh i've seen two different ways of using this and one makes a looser cord and the other makes a tighter cord so i think the tighter cord would be really nice so I'm going to try and work with this a little bit and see how I, it's, it's like really easy to do. It's just competitive, competitive, repetitive, right? Um, it's just a matter of grabbing the thing, the yarn and putting it over and putting it over and all that, right? So if you've never seen one of these, uh, you can look it up on YouTube, Lucette, L-U-C-E-T -L fork. Uh, and there's lots of videos on how to use this. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'll also put the link to Alt Knots down below. And you can see her video on how to use this. So, yeah. I thought, well, okay, I'm going to try it. Something different, right? It's like, yay. So, I got that. Then, you guys are going to just fall off your chair when you see this. <laughs> I bought some crochet hooks. <laughs> Look at how tiny these are. <laughs> the smallest one I think is a one, one millimeter hook. They're not for me, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you guys are going, what? You don't use anything past a five. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, no, these aren't for me. I found them on Amazon for my niece, um, Michelle, and she loves doing lacy stuff like tablecloths and like small, 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 give me a freaking headache kind of small uh, stuff. And she has not been able to find crochet hooks that are smaller than a two. I found them. <laughs> so I'm going to be giving these to her. And the faster they are out of my hands, the better, because they just, they scare the crap out of me just looking at these things. So there's that. Uh, I'll see if I can find the link for them in U.S. and Canadian on Amazon. And if I can find it, I will leave that link down below as well. So I'm hoping that she's going to like them. I don't know if she's even worked with a one. <laughs> Did you happen to notice my background? That we have a new member? Boink! <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Well, we're like, oh, Sir Purr's a lot. Doesn't want to be moved. And hang on. <laughs> Holy cow. Amagurumi, uh, Amagurumi Vlanch. 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 Anyway. Uh, yeah, guys. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> uh, yes, I made a bumblebee. 
stinger and all. <laughs> Isn't it cute though? <laughs> um, I wanted to see if I could do it and I did it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so his, his smile's a little crooked and you know, I, I tried, but, uh, I thought he was cute. He's plump like me, you know, eh, whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm still not sure how the heck you do the stuffing on these things. Because when I first stuffed it, this face was like wide. And then I was like, whoa, that's wrong. So I kind of pulled it back a little bit and kind of tried to fluff it fluff the rest of the body and I was like oh this is not working but I finally think I got it I think his face is still a little wide <laughs> but whatever um and then when I I put the face on I realized that the line the vault line or whatever I have it on the top instead of the bottom Ugh, whatever he's just for me <laughs> but isn't he cute he's got green eyes <laughs> So, yeah, so I tried, I tried my hardest and I think I did okay. And, you know, so everybody's sitting there going, oh, so you're doing amigurumi now? And I'm just like, no, I'm not. I'm not doing the little stuff. And I did something that I never thought I would ever do. I bought stuffing <laughs> and not only did I buy the stuffing I actually thought about this and I thought well because usually you get oh I don't have it in front of me the other stuffing that comes in the sheets or in the you know the bag that's got it's all kind of together this um, this stuff is foam chips so it's just chip pieces. Oh, I can't open it. There's just chip pieces. I don't know if you can see it. It's not, um, it's not like that webbing stuff. So I'm hoping that this is going to be easier for me to use than the other cotton batten stuff that you got to pull apart and try and figure out how to un get it uniformed. This might be easier because it's just like a popcorn kind of stuff, right? So I actually thought about this, guys. Like, seriously? Like, oh, what are you guys doing to me? I'm blaming Crystal and I'm blaming Kim and I'm blaming the other Crystal. <laughs> all, the, all the amigurumi people out there. Oh, you guys are breaking me. And then Crystal from Chronically Crocheting does another amigurumi little monster I was like oh my god that's so cute and I went no <laughs> like no I cannot do this this is not me what is happening to me I'm broken <laughs> like seriously um and then I went and I bought because I I did the eyes and then I was crocheting well like oh come here you you know how I was crocheting the eye piece here and then on Mr. Pumos I did it and it just didn't look right on that so I thought well okay let's see what can I do and then I thought well maybe I'll try Crystal's way so I bought a pack of felt so I'm going to try to maybe cut out the piece see if that works for me um because it looks really cute on hers but for me to try and cut out a circle it's going to be a pain <laughs> like, I just how hard is it to cut out a circle I mean seriously yeah for me it's hard <laughs> I just, so so yeah so I, I that's what I made and that's what I bought for it so I guess that means that I'm actually going to be making some more I really want to make another Mr. Purse a lot I, of course, went to Walmart. I keep looking for the parchment in the um, Brunette Premium. They're still out of it. So I'm like, fine. 
Uh, I was looking for white. Of course, they didn't have any white. What is it with white? White and black. It's like you can't get it anymore. So what I did was I got the sparkle. The white sparkle. Can you see the sparkle in that? Isn't that pretty? So, yeah, that's... That's the only white that I can find, unless I was going to go into the Super Saver, and I hate Red Heart Super Saver. So I got this instead. <clears throat> and then I went to Michael's today, of course. Surprise. Their shelves are hideous. They, I mean, I know they had just had a big sale that I completely missed, um, but they have not restocked their shelves they're even worse than af after the sale. Um, and they're just bare completely. I should have taken a video of it. It was, but it, there was people around and, but it was pathetic. It was really pathetic. I was really pissed off. And I told them, I says, you know, this is the stuff that makes people not want to come to Michael's anymore. You guys don't care enough to actually restock your shelves. And she says, well, they're having a hard time keeping up and, and all this and I'm like don't you guys restock your shelves every Friday you know like I don't know but anyway so I couldn't really find anything because I was looking for um the uh the craft smart value stripes and to see what they would have in that <sighs> not a lot guys so I got I did find, and you guys are going to be so shocked and surprised when you see this. But I was watching Heather, the crochet witch, and she was showing her all her blankets. Oh, that woman is a fiend when it comes to making her blankets. It's crazy. She makes such beautiful stuff. Um, and that's just, that's her thing is blankets and she just oh I love these blankets but she got me thinking about color against black and kind of going outside the box and I mean if you guys have been with me for any length of time you know that I am dark jewel toned type of person I don't like the big um colorful like neon-y kind of stuff or the like like this I'm probably I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna have to see what I can do with that um but I got this from Lyn Lynette Charm Grammy uh crochet and I'm I'm kind of going oh don't know what to do with it because I'm not used to getting bright colors like that so I it it throws me off and it kind of makes me go, no, I don't, I'm scared of it. I don't know what to make with it. And I, you know, um, but I, I like the darker, like all my stuff, it's all darker jewel toned kind of stuff, either that, or I really like the earth tones, but not the orange tones. I like the beige, the browns, the you know dark grays the you know those kind of earthy tones the greens and the you know stuff like that but I stay away from fall colors for the most part I'm starting to get into a burnt orange thing so then that's where I'm looking at this going okay I might be able to work with that so uh, I went way outside my comfort zone today like way outside my comfort zone today. Oh, and I got this Craftsmart um, value stripes in this. What? <laughs> like what? <laughs> like they're almost dark earthy enough that it's palatable for me. Um, if this was like a bright orange and a bright yellow, I would stay away from it, right? Like it's just not my thing. But looking at Heather the Crochet Witch's stuff, 
It's the way she pairs it that I go, oh, that's pretty. So that's what made me kind of go with this. Now, I also got this. Again, not my color palette, but look at these together. I was like, hmm. And then <laughs> I caught this. Okay. Um, and you put this together. And look at that. So you get all three of these. Whoops, I can't hold it all. All three of these. And isn't that a beautiful color palette? Now, I'm not sure if I want to put it with white or black. I'm thinking black, but I don't know yet. But this is really pretty. And I chalk this all up to Heather because this, you will never see these colors in my stash until this moment. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm doing amigurumi. And I'm doing this. And I just saw something else. I got from Hirschner's. Remember when I got those packages, those packs of colors? Oh, look at this. Hang on. Okay, I just happened to look over, glance over at my other part of my stash, and I just noticed this. This is the Premier Basics that I got. And look at that. Holy cow. Look at that. Can you say perfect or what? Like all of those are in this one cake or one skein. Oh, because when I got this, I was like, not my color, but this works together. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So, oh, now I'm excited about this. And I'm thinking about making a blanket with it. Not sure yet. Okay. And then I got some more of this one, which I have here somewhere or oh, maybe I used it all yeah I think I may have used it all it's usually like right in here um oh I guess I didn't tell you the colors of these did I <laughs> okay let's try that again okay so this one is the color is cinnamon okay this one the color is ginger. And this one, the color is curry. Hmm. Okay. Um, and then this one is in the color in the Premier Basics. Love this yarn. It's so soft and squishy. The color is ember. They're so pretty together. Okay, uh, this one is the color is Marlowe. I just love this. This reminds me of um, the I Love This Yarn stripes or is, I Love This Yarn stripes. I think that's what it's called. Uh, uh, I've got one here. Um, I love this yarn print. I love this yarn print. How did I forget that? That's like my ultimate favorite yarn that I can't get in Canada. But my sister Sandy over at Leftist Right Crochet gives me. So I'm so happy about that. <laughs> and Rosalie at Yarn It Out has, you know, I tell her, here, take my money. 
go get me some yarn <laughs> which i'm probably gonna have to do soon uh okay so i got that one and then i got okay i absolutely love 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 this yarn i love all of the colors it's heartland and i got this at michael's look at that color i almost got the red too but this color it's actually darker it's like that it's beautiful but it's eight dollars a ball up here in canada it's crazy uh, but i had to get it it was like I, I just had to do it um this is called king's canyon i just they only had two skeins left so i grabbed them both um so that's hopefully going to be hat and cowl set and then i grabbed they had the charisma i love charisma especially for hats oh just big squishy fluffy hats so i got this color which is got the purples and all of that in there and this color is yes sprout sprout multi so that's that one and i got three of those and and that's all i got for yarn which was actually like like i need any more yarn george george comes up drives up the same time i came home and he's looking at me and he goes did i not just get you like a huge two huge boxes of yarn for christmas yeah <laughs> He says, how is it that you have a room full of yarn and you do a project and go, I don't have the yarn for this. I have to go to Michael's. <laughs> you guys understand, right? Help a girl out. <laughs> My sister, as you all know, or most of you know, if, you, if you're new here and you don't know, I'm about to tell you. My sister started making bags, uh, little little pouch bags, um, after she got sick. And she needed something to do to keep her mind off of things. And um, I, I helped her out by, you know, saying, hey, why don't you try and make something like this? And she found a pattern that worked for her. And she started making these pouches. The first set of pouches that she got sold out. And I was like, wow, that, that's pretty cool. So what I did was I made her her own Etsy page. And I made it for her and my niece, Michelle. Because my niece makes doilies and she made... Oh. I taught this girl how to make a sweater. And she took it so much further so much further she makes these gorgeous blouse type um like using hooks like this kind of blouses and stuff and i'm just like oh. so i'm i always go to hobie and i get her all these beautiful thinner types of yarns and she just comes up with just magic you know, just easy peasy. And I just look at her and go, wow. Like, <sighs> grandma would be so proud. So proud. Like, holy cow. So anyways, I'm planning on putting up Michelle's stuff up on this Etsy page as well. But it's called the Coin Crow Creations. Or Coin Crow Creations. Okay. Um, we're big on crows. We're, crows are our spirit animal right they they're everything to us in our family so i thought that was the perfect name for her channel uh so anyway she has made more bags um 
she just had cataract surgery. Uh, the metformin that she was on gave her cataracts within like five months because she was on such a high dose for the Wegener's disease. And so she just got one eye done and she was just like freaking out like after she got it done because she was like, is that what the world looks like? <laughs> she's like, oh my God, look at all the colors. So next month she's going to be getting the next eye done. And then her vision is 2020. And she's, when that happens, she's going to go off like a shot and she's going to just start making and making, making, which is going to be crazy because I got to try and keep up with her. <laughs> so I finally got my butt in gear and put the tassels on all of these bags. I'm telling you guys, like it's a juggling act. I wanted to get these done so bad. <sighs> excuse, excuse, excuse. Finally, I sat down and went, no, I've got to do these. And I did. I took the pictures and they are now up on the Etsy page. So let me show you. She's not only made the bags, but now she's gone a different route as well, or like the same route, but added to it. Uh, and I'll show you that. Okay. <sighs> These are all in a bag and they're all scrunched up and everything. So forgive me. Um, so there's this one. Okay. And the tassels oops, says hope. Sorry, I got the sun shining in on me here and it's blinding me. And okay, so there's that bag. There's... Oops, <laughs> this bag, okay, with the tassel. You'll be able to see all the pictures on Etsy, okay? And I will leave that link down below. Okay, so that's those two. Like, she's just gone crazy with these. It's insane. Okay, there's this bag. Okay, with the tassel. These, she's only got a couple of these bags and I have a feeling these ones are gonna go really fast. I found this material for her at Michael's and went, oh, I had to get it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's a deeper, like, like I said, it's really bright in here, but this is a deeper red really deep red. I've got the red um, tassely boobob thing on there. <clears throat> and then she's got the red on red. That looks orange, but it's not. It's like, ah, like I said, you can see the pictures on, on Etsy, but this is a deeper red than that. Okay. Um, there is this bag. Okay. And it's got the, the green tassel boobob. Okay. There's another one of these with the pink. This one has little flowers on it. A little tassel. Oh, and all of these bags are reversible. Okay. So depending on which side you want, you just have to flip it inside out. Okay. And then there's this bag. Okay. Okay. A lot of you have been asking if she makes bags that will hold uh, a, a Karen cake or something like that. And she hasn't except for this one bag. Um, she's trying to figure out 
how to do it so that the sides don't fall in right and we were talking about that um, stuffing that you can put in that flat stuffing that you can put in between the material but the problem with that is, is it's going to cost a lot of money to do uh, so and she really wants to try and keep the cost down so this is the only bag that she made that can fit a Karen cake and you can see on the Etsy page um, I've got a cake in it so you can see what it looks like okay so there's that one all right now I'm just so tickled oh sorry I'm so tickled about this what she's done is she is making sets okay I love this material there's this one and it comes with a little drawstring pouch okay now these are also reversible all right so you get the two bags together in the set such a good idea and these bags will hold crochet hooks they're big enough for the crochet hooks and then some uh, or whatever you want to put in it you don't have to put in crochet hooks but okay so there's that set and then there's this set with the little bag and red inside okay this set I'm excited about this material I love this it's almost like a camo type of material it's got the yellow flowers okay and the little bag with the yellow inside okay um okay this one's cute i love this it's little dog bones it comes with the little dog bone bag okay There's this one with this bag and it has the same material inside okay <clears throat> oh okay and then there's this one this one's really popular and this one reminds me of Pamela that adoring Pamela's adoring creations isn't that cute and then there's the drawstring bag okay and then I think this is the last one That's a little floral and this come this one comes with two little bags because she I don't think she had enough to make or she had extra or something so she made two little bags to go it's the same price but um, it's just a different sized bag and that's got the dark green inside 
Okay, so that's that's everything for those. And then I've got a couple of extra, oops, little bags. These are just singular bags. This one's a bigger, I can't remember what the, I've got the um, dimensions and everything on here, I think. And that has the green inside. Okay. And there's this one with the beige inside. And the mushrooms, the brown inside, and the little flowers, the green inside. Okay, so that's everything. Like I said, they're all in the coin create coin crow creations, coin crow creations, CCC, uh, and they're all for sale. They're all reversible. So go check it out. And uh, yeah, we'd love you love the support. Um, I I just love helping my sister out with this stuff, and uh, she's I'm just so happy that she's able to do this. So thank you so much. Uh, I will be getting Michelle's stuff up eventually. Um, I may have to go over to her place and film it all and then get it uploaded because I don't have it all here. <laughs> I have some of it here. I think that's it, guys. I think that's everything. Long enough video? Much? So long that my coffee's cold? Yep, pretty much. I just got coffee in my eye. <laughs> it just splashed back at me. It's going, there, have that. That's for leaving me to go cold. Ah, oh, okay. All right. So I'm really excited about this other orangey, burnt orange yarn now. So now I might have three whips. Oh, God. It's like never done. I have, there's never enough hours in the day. So, okay, guys, that's all I've got for you. That's probably enough to last you a lifetime, right? So I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Thank you for joining me and sticking around, hopefully. And I will talk to you soon. <laughs> okay. Bye.